All right, fam, truth. Day 22 of my fast. Tomorrow I'm gonna eat again. Hallelujah. I've been, I've been itching for that drug, itching for that food, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's pretty good. I've been drinking a lot more water versus pee today because I'm really sick of the pee. I'm just really tired of it. Um, I do feel how, like, how the pee is um, energizing and electrifying to a sense, but the taste is just, um, you know, you gotta weigh out your, your pros and cons here. Still got yeast. I still itch a little bit. I still have these like candida sores from itching, pimples, you know. Um, so that didn't really heal up. It got a little bit better, but still got a lot of work to do. I weighed myself just before this. Uh, I entered this fast weighing just over 170 pounds. And today I weigh just under 150. So I lost about a pound a day, which is pretty normal. Um, my last fast, when I did 25 days, I started at like 155 and I went down to 129. Um, my lightest I've ever been is 119. So at 150, I'm, I still got a lot of weight on me, you know? So I could keep going if I wanted to. Um, I'm sure I got about 10 to 15 pounds of poop, you know, stuck in my intestines. Um, my intestines were really bothering me last night. I just don't know what it is, man. I think I just need, I think I just have like some kind of like scarred up um, intestine that makes it really hard for stuff to pass through. I think that could be it. So um, the biggest challenge for me now is my refeeding program. Every time I've done I've done like I don't know six different fasts, maybe ten different fasts between a couple days to twenty five days. Every time I do a fast, it's so hard for me not to just indulge in the food afterwards. And the problem is my my body is not ready for it. I need to do it poco a poco. I need to do a little bit at a time. I need to be so disciplined. And um, especially with this pain in my intestines, when I eat and I feel the pain, I don't want to deal with it, so I eat more. That's my problem. Um, or I eat too much and then I feel the pain later so if I really want my insides to heal this time I think I just have to do like microscopic amount of foods more common throughout the day but then I got that concern about my teeth I don't want to be putting sugar and acids on my teeth all day long too because um, my teeth are uh, not in the best shape as well so I gotta prioritize I'm prioritizing my intestines I can always get dentures if I need to get dentures <laughs> I hope not <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be tomorrow starting like eating every maybe hour uh, or two hours. It's just like this much fruit, watermelon and papaya. And I got a melon. It's what I got last night. So I'm, pr I'm pretty excited about that. I've been dreaming about food and watching food porn way too much. Um, the refeeding process should take probably as many days as the fasting took, so like 22 days. But for me, it might take a year because of my intestinal issues. I might have to be doing these little tiny portions all throughout the day for a year, or maybe forever, maybe for the rest of my life. I really don't know, because I really don't know what the problem is. I did go to the hospital uh, about six months ago. They took scans and all that. Um, not, not, not real clarity was provided. Um, I got to make an appointment with, uh, you know, a specialist, which is really hard to do, especially here in Mexico. Um, so I'm trying to heal it naturally with this fast and with the Zen's cleanse and with my tiny little portions. It's really easy for me to overeat because I use it as an emotional suppressant and I also enjoy the, the taste, you know. So I like to just cram it in, especially with the fruit. You watch these fruitarians online, they're eating like 20 mangoes at a time. I'm like, I want to do that, but I can't. Um, I'm, I'm like, I want to gain strength and be strong, but I got to take it slowly. So, I, I still weigh 150. I got plenty of weight on me. So, I just need to take this slowly and slowly and slowly. Poco a poco, starting tomorrow with my food intake. I got the fruit. I have my um, barley grass green powder. What's that stuff called? You know, the, the green... The ultimate green powder that everyone says is the best in the world. I got tons of that stuff. So I might, like, probably not tomorrow, but down the road start, like, 
you know, dipping my watermelon into this green powder to get that, um, that mineral boost because I've noticed that helps with my strength. So, um, yeah, day 22. I'm really excited about tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Oh, another story. Um, so last night I kept hearing like this rustling, right? In the trees in the garden. So I didn't know what it was. I was like, it's not a person. It's, is it birds? Is it the wind? I didn't really know what it was. So I was kind of like half asleep, going back to sleep. And then this morning, I hear it again. I, I get out. I see cows in our yard. We have our whole yard fenced off because we have vegetation in here. And the cows, the cows run wild. The, um, the, 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 the rancheros let their cows run all over the land, all over the town, everywhere. And they just eat everything in sight. And it's the, de the desert, so it's not like they have many pickings. Those are st they're starving. They eat cement bags around here. That's how, that's how crazy it is. They eat cement bags. Um, so somehow they broke in, in the middle of the night, through the fence. They jumped through the barbed wire. And uh, they munched all the tomatoes. Tomatoes are all gone. They killed, they ate up the little mango tree sapling that we've been nursing for the last year. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. They didn't touch the papaya trees, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but they ate all the tomatoes and killed the mango tree and some other stuff. Like the pepper plants and stuff. But um, I had to chase them out this morning. Day 22, my, my last day of my fast. I'm like a zombie, I'm chasing these cows out of the fence. I had to reinforce the fence. So that was a story. Vacas. But I'm glad I got some food because they're starving, even though they're just going to be killed by freaking the butchers and people are going to eat them for tacos. Like, it's no big deal. But, you know, that's that's the reality of the world we live in. It is what it is. We choose this, we choose this journey. All right, I love you guys, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.